Well, I guess the theme of this has been, this is it, right? We're here. Many years and here it is. It's finally here. Merrick and Pat Dugall, Mimi and Papa, we call them, love these types of things and want to live for this. So, it's hard. Again, just thank you all very much for this special moment. We thank God for the blessings that he's given us on all of this. I, I mean, I, why do I deserve this? I, two beautiful daughters and, and everything I have. <laughs> I can't believe the day is finally here. I consider myself the luckiest man in the world because in just a few short moments, I will be able to call you my wife. Most of our guests here know our story. We met on the very first day of kindergarten and grew up together through school. Most of our guests here also know about your unfortunate choice in a university. Looking out over Keenan Stadium to a sea of Carolina blue, there was a speck of hope and a speck of beauty. Somebody was wearing Wolfpack Red to UNC's graduation. Yes, this was my girlfriend, and this was absolutely the girl I was going to marry. Go Pack. <laughs> All jokes aside, though, I knew long before then that you were the one. First and foremost, you are my best friend. I can, I can be myself around you, unlike anybody else in this world. Your faith in Christ is inspiring to me. Every day I see how you walk close with the Lord. You make your decisions prayerfully, and you always put Him first. My goal as your husband is stated in Ephesians 5.25. It says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And that self-sacrificial love is how I want to love you. Let us both aim to keep Him first in our marriage, and I believe we'll be just fine. Love you to be, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Why God blessed me with a love story like this, I'll never know. But boy, am I grateful, and I'll never stop thanking Him for you. Crazy to think how our story has unfolded, but even cooler to look back and see God working in every moment of our story leading up to this. I am thankful for you, for all the times you make me laugh, for being the best travel buddy, for your undeniable talent and voice, for loving me without abandon, and for just being you. You're my best friend, my rock, and I promise to share every ounce of my love with you for the rest of my life. You have my whole heart, and I can't wait to start this forever with you. <laughs> It is a privilege of mine as a minister of the gospel to pronounce from this day forward you are now husband and wife. We pray for your blessed marriage and what God has brought together and that let no one ever come between. Scotty, you may kiss your bride. For the last 24 hours, I have been his best man. Right here has been the best son for the last 24 years that a father could ever ask for. And I am proud to be your father. So with that said, before we laissez le bon temps rouler, but before we do that, I won't say it again, Tomorrow, tomorrow is Father's Day. I want to challenge you to get better gifts than I got for this Father's Day. Because I got my son marrying the love of his life. And I got a beautiful new daughter. So with that said, and let's raise a toast to Scotty and Gabby McCreary.